Hello friends and ciao from Italy. I am at my in-laws house in the beautiful city of Milazzo. Yes, that is a castle in the background on the hill. It's absolutely beautiful here. But um, you know, as a series of conversations have developed recently, I, I just had this thought and I had to share with you about dreaming big. Because the thing about dreaming big can one of two things. It can spark fear or it can spark action. I've experienced both myself and I've experienced this in speaking with other people. And so um, I wanted to share some thoughts and, and perhaps can help you in your journey, whatever you're pursuing and um, give you some tips. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Drop some emojis, wave hello. What's your favorite Italian food? Let me know because we're going to have it while we're here. This is the beginning of like two weeks in Italy. It's awesome. So the thing about dreaming big, does it spark fear or action? You know, one of the things that I get to do that I love about what I do as a professional network marketer and um, being a partner, being partner with Isogenics, I get to help people dream. I get to help people through a series of questions that I ask them to draw out the vision that they have for their life, right? It's just by asking them, you know, what is it that you'd really love to do? What's your ideal life? What's that dream that's deep down inside? And I love doing that with people. Um, you know, sometimes, most of the time, I find people are very excited to do that. And it's especially exciting when they do decide to take action, but occasionally it can spark some fear. I was reflecting uh, this morning on a conversation that I'd had, a series of conversations actually, that happened a couple years ago, where I was speaking with somebody who's a new friend, a referral, and we started to, to dream big together, asking her, you know, what, what would you love to do? What would you be doing if you weren't here? And, and she shared about how she loves people and she loved to have this, you know, this house where people can come in and out and vacation or stay with her and she could, you know, build community like that or she liked to travel and see different cultures and do these different things. And it was beautiful. Like her vision was beautiful, how it was going to impact people. And that was something that she even admitted she kind of forgotten about, but that's something that she had dreamed. And then it was fascinating to me that it was the very next day after actually was almost like she was a completely different person. It was like, uh, you know, I could, I could feel what had happened. I don't know if she spoke with somebody or just got stuck in her head where her, her mindset was such that, oh my gosh, I can't dream that big. I'm supposed to struggle. And she almost got angry at me for helping her dream because it felt like I was perhaps trying to trick her or persuade her in, in a different way for some reason. And that doesn't happen very often, but I wasn't angry upset with her because I could see what had happened. It's like overnight she got in her head like her vision that she had told me that she had this desire of a heart. It was like she all of a sudden lost hope that it was supposed to like it wasn't supposed to happen. That was too abundant for her to think of. And that would have been selfish for her. Right. And that whole mindset around abundance and selfishness can be another Facebook live. Would you be interested in that? I can I can help you. And you have pizza. We're definitely going to have pizza here, Tasha. But would you be interested in a Facebook live about an abundance mindset versus scarcity? I'd love to share that sometime. But back to this conversation, you know, anyway, so um, I wasn't really able to help this woman because she wasn't open, which was fine. But fortunately, most people do take action. In fact, just this morning, it was 7.30 a.m. Eastern time back home. This is a daily call that I'm usually on. And today was my turn to train. And it was 1.30 in the afternoon here. But this, the, the topic that I trained on was how to overcome a negative mindset by taking action. Right, it's how to overcome, because usually taking action is the way to overcome a negative thought, a negative mindset. But what I like to do is reframe the whole idea of negative thoughts or negative mindset, because when we have a negative thought, it's not that our minds are trying to hurt us, right? It's not like we're, we're trying to trick ourselves, we're not trying to hurt ourselves. In fact, it is just the opposite, right? Typically, our mind is trying to keep us safe, but its method of doing so is opposite to our success. Its method of doing so is by convincing us that where we are is okay, where we are is, is fine. In fact, we're gonna stay in what's familiar. Because when we're trying to achieve success, we're trying to achieve something new, which requires change, but our mind is programmed to keep us exactly the same. So. Uh, so usually it is action. It is action is the thing that will push us to success and help us to overcome that negative mindset rather than wait for those negative thoughts to go away, rather than wait for that fear to go away, which 
if we are thinking those things, those thoughts are keeping us in the present. Those thoughts are keeping us in scarcity and in the struggle and the feeling of now. Instead of when we take action, our action puts us in the future. Our action puts us in the direction, in alignment with that vision of success that we have for our future. That helps us actually change our negative thoughts into positive thoughts when we have the courage to take action anyway towards our goals, even before our mindset negative thoughts turn to positive thoughts. You know, fortunately, unlike that negative experience, that challenging experience with that uh, person, that friend who overnight gave up on her vision that she had shared with me just simply because of a scarcity mindset. Most people that I get to talk to do have an abundant mindset. In fact, that call I had this morning that I shared uh, earlier was full of entrepreneurs. And I'm so grateful to be affiliated and partnered and collaborating with such a powerful group of leaders such as that are attracted to our company. You know, not even all, most of which aren't even financially connected to me. We're just in alignment with the vision of creating more choice and abundance for ourselves and our family and for more and more people because that's the world that we want to live in is a, is a world where people have more choice and freedom and abundance and, and peace. So that's our vision. So what I wanted to share with you and, and to summarize all this and bring it to conclusions, actually what was stimulated in my conversations today was a huge announcement just made last night by my company that I'm partnered with, Isogenics, which has made it possible for me to take my dreams and, and align it with their vision make it come true. It's just it's the road tracks are there and what I've been able to do with so many other people, they just made it easier. They just made it possible that with a lower investment to have a higher payout. How do they do that? There's this, there's this movement within the movement right now that we've been really excited about uh, at Isogenics and corporate office is listening and they've aligned these new bonuses and it's going to be possible to help even more people who have the courage to take action towards their goal, to actually achieve it and to live it as so many of us have and are continuing to do as we grow our vision bigger and bigger. So first of all, I wanna invite you, if you would desire to have somebody to chat with and myself just simply to ask you questions to help you dream bigger for your life and set some bigger goals and, and pull out that vision that's already inside of you, then let's chat because you know it's so common that we can stay in a situation, in a job, in something that we don't like without doing anything about it simply because we don't know the way. So I wanna encourage you to push forward and to draw out that vision. And we may or may not find the vehicle for you to achieve it, but just having that vision is so powerful. So I invite you to reach out to me. Let's chat and have a conversation. And if you do need a vehicle, if you want a vehicle, it's very simple. This one is better than any that I've ever known. And I'd love to chat with you about either just feeling your best in health. As you know, I, I work with health products that support the foundation of your, of your cellular health. Just do that and maybe even just get it paid for and that'll also support our vision of impacting world health. Um, or if you're ready for a really big change, if you if you want a side gig for extra security, or if you want to go all in like many of us are and race towards um, financial freedom and more choice, I'm super passionate about that, and I want to help you do that as well. So anyway, reach out. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for sharing your favorite foods. Oh, yeah, wine. Like it, I passed it on, on lunch, but we have a little bit all the time. The wine here is fantastic spaghetti pizza we're having it all watch my stories I shared a little bit earlier today some of the food that we've heard in our first 24 hours in Italy and no doubt there will be many many more appreciate you all thanks for tuning in ciao ciao